Up next, the Marvel Legends Fantastic Four Retro Series Vintage Wave Invisible Woman. Before we do anything, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Then let's talk about it. What a party people in the place. I am the ruckus and these are my toys. On deck we have the Marvel Legends Fantastic Four Retro Wave Vintage Series or Vintage Wave Retro Series, however you want to phrase it, Invisible Woman. This is the last, the last character to make up the family. There's still two more figures to go, but they're the Feast Day Resistance as far as I'm concerned. I'm a villain guy, so save those two for last. Wanted to get the family done first, get that out the way. And here we are with the Invisible Woman. And uh, from what I've been hearing and from what I am now seeing, everyone thinks that the Invisible Woman should uh, make her head invisible. And I'm looking... Um, at a distance and I find myself agreeing but I'm going to withhold judgment until I get her out of the packaging and look at her up close speaking of that packaging Sue comes in the retro style packaging and uh, you have the uh, the artwork at the top Fantastic Four and the four symbol and you have artwork of the team this is based off of the 90s cartoon and then you've got Sue clearly displayed in the clamshell with her accessories. Then you have Marvel's Invisible Woman branded at the bottom, turning to the back because we don't have any sides. It's a retro series. You once again have the Fantastic Four logo. This is more of the classic logo from the comics, more artwork of Sue. And then you have an illustration showing how to change Sue's hands and to apply her effects and then you have the readout after receiving superpowers Sue Storm Richards co-founds the Fantastic Four and emerges as the single most powerful member of the group and it's funny because back in the day the 60s 70s and then uh, a good portion of the 80s probably all the way up till midway Sue wasn't really portrayed that way uh, she was always the hostage, the damsel in distress, etc., etc., the one that would break down and display fear and concern and doubt that the mission would get would get uh, accomplished or, you know, whatever. And then um, someone realized the scope of her power. And uh, yeah, she basically is the most powerful member. Uh, it's, it's funny because... Even though she's the most powerful member, it's not like she's indomitable. They, uh, it, it, it's cool how they've got it done. I mean, technically, if the Human Torch wanted to take them out, all he'd have to do is suddenly go Nova and they'd all be done. Uh, the thing, if he just went crazy unexpectedly, he could basically crush all of them um, before uh, they even knew what was going on. Um, he, I mean, chances are he'd only get Sue or Johnny first and then the other one, you know, Reed, um, well, he'd have to uh, get in there quick to do his thing because once Johnny flames on, it's a done deal. If Sue has her uh, whereabouts, you know, her wherewithal about her, she can get out of that. And of course, probably the only way that uh, Reed could take out Ben is to try to uh, asphyxiate him some kind of way. That's about it. But um, why are we talking about such grim things such as that? Uh, let's uh, let's get this party started. We're gonna 
flip Sue back to the front to see her one final time in packaging because as you all know these packages are not collector friendly so once Sue is out she is out so let's get her out so here we have we've got Sue Storm Richards aka the Invisible Woman out of her packaging and uh, along with her accessories try to uh, maneuver the uh, the stand so it, it kind of sort of looks like uh, she's floating them that uh, whatever they're resting on she's rendered invisible but um, hey we all do our silly things with these figures so that was mine anyway getting getting to it okay elephant in the room head sculpt the face not good <laughs> what more can I say not good and uh, we're going to get a close up unfortunately of that so you'll see what I'm talking about but um, as far as the rest it's the uh, typical female buck totally unimpressive you know uh, she's skinny she uh yeah, uh, it's the same the same female buck that's been used for years, and uh, the same female hands that's been used for years that has come on um, on the body in package. She does come with a pair of fists, so at least you can change her up a little bit that way. A lot of female figures uh, from Marvel Legends, you don't have that option. They just come with the the the. Uh, two open hands um, or spell casting hands as some people have called them uh, but that's about it uh, let's uh, let's take a let's get it uh, let's get it out the way and take a close-up of Sue's face so here she is up close and personal and um, yeah I I uh, there's not much that can be said. Uh, yeah, Hasbro, um, they uh, they dropped the ball this go round on the uh, the face, and um, I mean I can actually see what they were trying to do. If you were to look at if you were to look at uh, the image on the packaging, the uh, the hairstyle is basically the same. And um, I just don't know what went wrong with the face. Um, if I were to hazard any guesses, one, I think her eyes are too squinty. Would that be an appropriate word? They probably should be a little bit bigger. That would have um, that would have definitely beautified the face. Uh, big beautiful eyes when it comes to females. That you know we that that's a saying all the time. And um, as far as the teeth anyway let's get a little bit uh, closer and see what's up but uh, yeah um, yeah not good at all uh, but I guess it is what it is we'll uh, try some um, head swaps with the other iterations of Sue uh, momentarily but for now this is what we got this is what we're looking at as far as the paint apps uh, on mine the uh, the white and the uh, I believe that this is I believe it's molded in in uh, blue and painted white which is always uh, can always be hit or miss but mine mine is uh, mine is a hit right now my four emblem is good the uh, the the, uh, the belt is is all right the hands or rather I should say the forearms there, uh, I've got no issues there. And then, as far as the the lining on the boots, everything's all good that way. On the back, get it out here so you can see it. On the back, I've got uh, everything's fine in terms of uh, no splotching and things of that nature. Same thing with the belt and. Uh, the forearms so yeah 
Will you even stand now, Sue? Are you pissed off that I uh, talk bad about you? Okay, there she is. She uh, a little bit out of focus, probably by design by me. But there she goes. Okay, I, I, let me stop dissing Sue. Anyway, it is what it is. You can't win them all, but um, we're going to uh, we're going to see what's up with the uh, the other versions of the Invisible Woman. So here we've got the three Sues side by side by side. Retro series in the center. On the left, we've got the Walgreens exclusive Invisible Woman. And on the right, we've got the Invisible Woman from the Fantastic Four Super Scroll Wave. And uh, once again, I just can't get away from uh, the head sculpt issue. When we first got the Walgreens exclusive, we thought that the head sculpt on Sue was beautiful. And it was, it is, and um, we thought even more so when we got the Super Scroll version of the Invisible Woman. And uh, then we get uh, we get what we got. But um, in defense of Hasbro, we know what they were trying to do. They were trying to mimic the cartoon version of Sue Richards, and um, they were only uh, they were they they were only. Uh, partially successful. The hair, like I said, came out uh, almost exactly like how it was illustrated. So, um, but uh, the face itself, geez. Anyhow, what we're going to try to do now is uh, I'm going to see what uh, Retro Sue looks like with these other head sculpts. So first up, we're going to use the Walgreens exclusive head and um, right away big difference and uh, it uh, it definitely helps that the uh, figure is fully uh, costumed head to, well neck to, to toe and uh, so we don't have to worry about any differences in skin tones so yeah that definitely that definitely works and next super scroll sue and uh, yeah that works just as well in fact better I can go with either or so uh, wow decisions decisions because um, now that I know how good these two head sculpts look on the retro series Sue um, I don't know something's gonna have to be done huh so we've got the three Sue's back to normal with their respective heads back on their respective bodies unfortunately for uh, retro suit but um, it is what it is I uh, I can't really use either of the other head sculpts right now because both Walgreens Sue and Super Scroll Sue are uh, they're all part uh, they're both part of uh, displays I got going on in my man cave so I'll figure something out but um, something will be done because uh, I'm going to uh, dub retro Sue as Halloween Sue uh, for the uh, the time being but um, yeah so we just got uh, we were just able to see how these uh, other two head sculpts work on uh, Retro Sue's new deco and uh, considering it's all the same body we knew it was going to work we just wanted to see what it would look like with these colors and we have as far as Sue's accessories go she comes with a second set of hands these are closed fists they're uh molded in white as you can see and uh, nothing special about them but the fact that we get a, an additional set of hands with a female figure is always cause to celebrate the invisible woman also comes with a, uh, a an effect piece this is a uh, an invisible shield which uh, you know is great for uh, demonstrating Sue uh, manifesting her powers so it's pretty cool we'll uh, check out how it actually works so the shield is meant for Sue's right hand it's got uh, indentations in there recessed holes for her to fit fingers in and you just line her right hand up it is invisible so it's easy to miss 
Huh. There we go. I actually managed to get it. And that's the invisible woman demonstrating her powers of invisibility. It's a pretty, uh, pretty cute, pretty cool effect. I'll definitely take it. Taking a look at Sue's articulation, she's got that full head of hair. The one, the one good thing that actually came out right with this head sculpt. So she can't, she can't lean her head backwards. She can go forwards that much, which is which is pretty good. And uh, you can get some some attitude. And if I looked like her, I'd have attitude as well. She can get her arms out 90. She can rotate them 360. Old school female buck, so single jointed elbows. That uh, swivel at the elbow. She has a wrist hinge, a horizontal hinge, and of course it rotates. She has a diaphragm cut. She can only she can only go forward that much go back that much she can lean with it and rock with it and go side by side and she can definitely twist it so pretty good there she can do the splits that far she can get her leg up that much back that much she can swivel at the thigh she's got a thigh cut she has double jointed knees and she can point her toe that far raise it up that far she has ankle pivot and holes peg holes on the bottom of her feet here's sue with her fisted hands on looking like she's ready to fight because she's tired of everybody talking about how she looks i hear you sue so now here we have the family portrait you got Sue, Halloween Sue, up there uh, lined up with the rest of her family, the rest of her team. You've got uh, the thing to our right. You've got the human torch far left. And of course, you got Hubby himself, Reed Richards. And um, uh, what's that you ask? Uh, where did the, uh, where did the, uh, the, the, uh, the room come from? Oh, uh, Sue, she, she kept it invisible the entire time uh, for the whole duration of the review because uh, she uh, didn't want anything to distract from, from uh, reviewing her. All about her, 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 her. So, you know, she just did what, uh, she you know, women like that attention. She wanted it all to be focused on her. So she rendered the room invisible, but she brought it back for the, the family photo here. So there you have it. That's the Fantastic Four from the Marvel Legends Fantastic Four retro series, Vintage Wave. So to sum it all up, to sum it all up, we've got, we've got a lot to uh, unpack here, don't we? Um... Uh, let me get on with it, huh? The Marvel Legends Fantastic Four Retro Series Invisible Woman. I can't do it. I, I can't do it. She's ugly, y'all. The girl, the girl is ugly. The, the head sculpt is ugly. The rest of the body is the same as the other body, so that's all good. Find another head sculpt. Some chick that's blonde... If the peg holes are right, that'll work. Do anything you can. Find another head sculpt. But until then, this is what we have. So let me uh, try to speak objectively. Uh, it's the same uh, female body that we're used to getting. And um, thankfully, uh, we've got a new female buck and um, a little bit more... Um, a little bit more flattering to the female frame. Um, it's not to the extent of the rogue body mold or the moonstone body is what it's really known as because that was the first one that uh, that had that body like that. And we've, we've gotten Spider Woman in that body. We've gotten Carol Danvers a couple times in different costumes in that body. But then they ended up 
putting Captain Marvel in this particular body mold. So uh, same old, same old, but um, hopefully we'll start seeing some more frequent changes when it comes to our female figures. Uh, the paint apps are okay uh, on mine. Um, nothing um, blotchy or anything like that. So um, if you want the uh, if you want the Fantastic Four in their in their 90s cartoon costume, not classic, 90s cartoon, the classic Sue I already showed, that was the Walgreens exclusive. I'm going to keep pushing that and stand 10 toes down on that. If you want to complete your cartoon version of the Fantastic Four, you're going to need, you're going to need Halloween Sue. No, no way around it. That's what you're going to do. You're going to have to uh, do that. Um, and it is what it is. Uh, and this review is what this review is. So uh, with that, um, oh, before I even do that, I got to give us some props. The Invisible Shield accessory is a nice, a nice addition to to this uh, to this set. So uh, that's that's all good to get um, to get effects accessories is always a good thing and uh, you guys rock with me all this time is also a good thing and I thank you all for it so we're going to end this review here please remember to like share and subscribe and smash that bell so you can be notified when I upload another video until the next time my peeps remember the hunt continues and I'm out peace